The day after Christmas is a big travel day across Texoma as families and relatives cross state lines for late Christmas get togethers and other festivities. K 10's Zach Hedrick is live in the studio with more. Zach? Marky, thousands of motorists were back on the interstates and highways today as the holiday travel season is still in full swing. The holiday travel season rolls along. Some travelers are going to see family. We're going to Austin, going to visit family, and then we will stop in Fort Worth on the 30th for the Armed Service Bowl. Laredo, Texas. Seeing family? My sister. Going down there to see her for a couple of days. Others to have a little fun after the Christmas rush. And where are y'all headed? To the casinos. Oh, okay. <laughs> Motorists say travel was light at first, but picked up as the day went on. We travel a lot on Christmas Day. There was hardly any traffic at all. And then uh, this morning, fairly light, wouldn't you say? It's just some commuting traffic, but, you know, in, in rural Oklahoma, it's not much. It hasn't been too bad. It's gotten a little bit busier in the last, what, 30 minutes? Yeah. It's a little crowded, but it thinned out, you know, it thinned out, but... You could tell all the stores were still packed, and then we've seen a lot of cars with still packages in them, so they were heading to more families. <laughs> Most of the holiday travelers that I talked to said that the traffic going into Texas is worse than the traffic going out. Some holiday travelers pulled off the highway at the Texas Travel Information Center in Denison to take a break and roll away some of those weary holiday miles. But despite some long travel days, those traveling say it beats driving in ice and snow. Yeah, they yeah. look like Chicago, what they're dealing with right now. <laughs> so they're in trouble. We were in trouble a couple of weeks back. According to AAA's holiday travel forecast, the year-end holiday period is from December 21st to January 1st. AAA predicted this year 94.5 million Americans will travel more than 50 miles from home during that time. Live in the studio, I'm Zach Hedrick, K10 News.